Way back in 2007, when Harry Potter cast his final spell in a famous series of books, and Britney Spears' hair decided to cast a disappearing spell of its own, Toyota teased car fans worldwide with a concept car. Dubbed the FDHS, it was front-engined, rear-wheel drive, 2 plus 2 sports coupe, and it was rumoured to be co-developed with Subaru. In 2012, our prayers were answered. Toyobaru proudly pronounced the birth of this, the GT86. A year later in this car still has the world intrigued, interested, emotionally attached, impressed, impossible, maybe. But if you haven't been initiated, let me run you through a couple of key facts. As the name implies, the GT86 has a lot of 80 60 things about it. You could say it's 80 sexy. For example, under the hood is a 2 litre boxer, 4 cylinder engine. The bore and stroke, 86mm. Then there are the rear exhausts. Despite being artificial in noisiness, where you'd expect some gung ho, smash your face in boy racer scream, or you're not fellow nerds because the diameter of each exhaust is, yeah, 86mm. The detail doesn't stop there. There's trim to remind you of the connection rods between piston and crankshaft, and the pistons on the logo are opposed to resemble their boxer layout. Even Exhibit would have a hard time keeping up. Yo, no, we had it like 86 on the hood, 86 on the roof, 86 on the side skirts, 86 on the bonnet, 86 on the end. But it's inside that the GT86 shows this star quality. This car was designed for handling, not straight line drag race obliterating performance, but sweet, sweet handling. And because it's a boxer engine, that means that the centre of gravity is low, really low to the ground. My bum is sitting just 40 centimetres off the tarmac. That's... that much. Then there's the whole lack of drama driving this thing. The GT86 has a nice, sweet, six-speed manual box. You can get one with an auto too, but why would you do that? And it's that feeling of rowing through the gears that's actually quite pleasing to any car fan. Acceleration is instant, there's no turbo lag. No nope, turbos, yo. Sharp throttle response and just enough grip to get you around the bendy bits. It's just so pure. And what about the skids, the old skidaroos? Well, the GT86 has three traction control modes. On, sort of on, and off. With all the aids turned off, you'll be getting the rear stepping out thanks to those Prius tyres. Yeah, let me say that again. Prius tyres. And talking about one of Toyota's least liked cars on the internet leads me on to a question about popularity. Has the GT86 caught on and gone viral like a provocative screenshot of Snapchat? Like a cringe-worthy one-liner on Tinder? To find out, we decided to head into town and do some good old 101 market research. What car do you think that is? Um, I think it's a Mazda. It looks like a Toyota Supra. Well, I thought it looked a bit like a TR4. I would say Nissan. Um, I haven't got a clue. And that proves my point. While us car peeps have gotten all hot under the collar thinking about the GT86 while professing our endless love Lionel Richie style, this feeling of amour is yet to seep into mainstream society. It's still a little bit too soon. Which is a damn shame because while we're waiting for this car to become a cult classic, I'll be one of the few people who will know how it feels to drive such a truly epic car. Here's to more of the same Toyota.